Hey, hey, it's Starfish of Fire, and I'm back with another hot sauce review. Alright, so today I have two sauces from High Desert Sauce Company. Check that out. Now, I've done reviews of their sauces before. I'm a big fan. Zach, you're awesome, man. You make great sauces. I've got the signature box behind me that has limited re release. I haven't cracked those yet. There's one that he made for uh, uh, Johnny Scoville's father. Got a hold of that. Again, I haven't opened that one yet. I also have this Black Label Limited Series uh, Sivlik Sriracha. Really cool label. Uh, this is uh, 89 out of 150, so it's a limited release. I uh, should be able to use this until 2022, late 2022, so over a year. So I'm going to hold on to this one for a while, limited edition and all. But today, what I'm going to be trying is first a more dessert type sauce, a strawberry based sauce, okay? And then one I've been really looking forward to, this is the Tik or Tik Hot Masala. This one is featured in uh, the last season, season 15 of Hot Ones. and got a lot of ingredients and it looks really good so we're gonna check these out today and we're gonna start with the dessert sauce and this one has very simple ingredients um, but it looks tasty so um, this one is an older version um, I know they still make this but this one I've had for a little while okay so let's look at the ingredients here Strawberry. Strawberry is the first ingredient. Distilled white vinegar, filtered water, banana, apple cider vinegar, agave nectar, sea salt, Trinidad scorpion powder, ghost pepper, Carolina reaper, and coriander. Alright, so let's give this one a go. Does that have a quick release? I forget. Yeah, they do. And we'll just go like this. And I love dessert sauces. Uh, people talk about, well, what are you going to use that on? Well, I don't do a lot of sweets, to be honest. But when I do, I do a nice... My father makes uh, his own cheesecake. I do it on cheesecake, ice cream, these kind of things. And I don't do it very often, but when I do, you got to have a good dessert sauce. So let's check this out. sweetness coming through right off. I can smell the strawberries straight up. So let's see what this looks like. Okay, a medium body sauce with some chunks floating in there. Alright, this is Starfish of Fire. Oh, and by the way, so this, this title on here is SBSB. So, uh, I wanted to look at that too. That's strawberry Well, we know it's strawberry, so let's give it a go. Here's a starfish of fire. Okay, straight off the strawberry hits. And the heat's coming in. This is the old labeling system, it just says fruitfully hot. They do a number system, one out of ten now. So this has got some heat to it. Right off the bat, though, it's sweet, but strawberry is the first thing that hits. That is good stuff. wonder what that would be like on strawberry ice cream. Excellent sauce. Now, heat. This has got some heat to it. Um, let's look at the ingredients. Again, Trinidad Scorpion Powder, Ghost Pepper, and Carolina Reaper. Now, it's toward the end of the ingredients, but that's a nice combination. Scorpion Pepper, Carolina Reaper have different types of heat. And Ghost Pepper, definitely, hit different times. Uh, one, Ghost Pepper tends to hit right away. Carolina Reaper tends to build. I give this an honest three out of heat. 
it's a lot of the back of the throat. My tongue isn't gone. My lips don't burn. It's mostly the back of the throat. Yeah. I'm getting a little sweat. Yeah, that's a, that's a straight three. It's very good. Excellent flavor. I love the way the strawberries come through right at the, the very beginning. And though I don't need a lot of sweets, I will be trying this on some strawberry ice cream. Sounds excellent. All right. Next, we have got a tea pot masala. Now, I recently made a chicken mar marsala that was excellent. And I looked at the ingredients on here, and there's quite a few. I had to write them down, actually. This is a small print. Uh, first, let me read this. this. is actually from my Hot One subscription, and they send a little thing that breaks it down. The final sauce in Season 15 subscription run, Teacot Masala, stands out for its bold curry blend. Garam Masala spices mixed with rich coconut milk and tomato to channel all the flavors of your favorite Tikka Masala, including a hint of sweetness. The warm toasty spices pair equally well with everything from hearty curry dishes to lighter fare like grilled veggies. We particularly enjoy it in dipping sauce for sweet potato fries. Interesting. Pro tip, mix with yogurt or hummus if the 7 out of 10 heat sticks around too long. Ghost and Carolina Reaper peppers have that burn that builds. Okay. So let's take a look at the ingredients. Like I said, I had to write them down because the print's rather small. And I'm getting old. I need some readers, I think. Oh, no. All right, so ingredients. Roma tomato. Distilled vinegar. Unsweetened coconut milk. Ghost pepper. Anaheim chili. Onion. Water. Agave nectar. Tomato paste. Reaper pepper. Kosher salt. Fresh ginger. Fresh garlic. Peppercorns. Cumin. Gada masala. Garam masala. And that parenthetically includes cardamom, cinnamon, clove, cumin, pepper, and coriander, apple cider vinegar, now we're on to the regular uh, ingredients, vinegar, uh, turmeric, and coriander, not to be confused with cilantro, which is the leaves. Uh, say, sounds really good. Actually, a lot of the ingredients are just what makes up a general sauce, like a simmer sauce that you might make for cooking chicken, tikka masala. Uh, so let's let's give this a go. I'm really uh, intrigued, not only by the possible level of heat, but the the flavor profile. It sounds wonderful, and I can't wait. I know I just know this is gonna be awesome for cooking. I already have some ideas. All right. Let's see, it looks kind of jammed up there, but whoop, there we go. Oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, it straight up smells like uh, Marsala sauce. I'm not getting any pepper smell. This looks to be a medium to thick body sauce. Okay, it's fairly thick. Oh, the nice chunks in there. See, this is a perfect texture. And consistency for the cooking sauces I make for chicken, masala, and so on. All right, starfish of fire, let's have a go. Oh, I love that smell. There's almost something smoky going on, too. Okay, wow. That is perfect. Okay, so this is basically just a really good tiki masala sauce with heat. Mmm. Oh, and the sweetness. Wow. Where is that coming from? Agave nectar? That's really, well, the coconut, but it's unsweetened coconut. It must be that agave nectar. Wow, that is amazing. And it's got some heat. 
Zach, this is it. Wow. This is a... I have one more, but I'm telling you right now, the heat on this is more than... A, it's starting to build a little bit. Of course, I'm, I'm drinking a lot of it, or eating a lot of it. Mmm. Sweat on the brow. So, on my system, I do a 1 to 10. This is pushing a five. It's between a four and a five. I'm gonna I'm gonna land because it's all around tongue burn, a little back of the throat, sweat on the brow. For me, five is when things start to get a little uncomfortable. It's where I start to snot up a little bit. You know, my eyes start to water. I'm getting the sweat on the brow, so I'm gonna give this heat wise. And that's, that's actually building a little bit. It's a nice tongue burn though. Very pleasant. So I'm going to give this a 5. Just because of the, the sweat on the brow and the constant just tongue burn. It's really hitting, like I said, a little on the back of the throat. Excellent sauce. Excellent sauce. Oh, I'm glad you, you made it to the program of Hot Ones. That's that's really awesome. And I'm familiar with your story, Zach, so you're an awesome dude, and uh, you're making good sauces. Keep it up. And let me know when uh, new stuff comes out, because I'll definitely be picking it up. Um, wow, that's still burning. And I did have three or four spoons full, to be fair, but it's definitely a five. Great heat and just amazing flavor and I'm already excited about what I'm going to do with this cooking wise oh whoo all right so this is starfish of fire and as always I still have plenty of hot sauces to work with here in fact these two here came with this one as a monthly subscription so I'll be doing these two next I believe or maybe just one I'll do another video with just one wow that's starting to go down into the chest a little bit Mm, wonderful sauces so guys check out uh, high desert sauce company they're out of Tucson Arizona and they uh, yeah they, they make great sauces man check them out you can't go wrong they usually have some good deals on there too and you can get little package deals and like I said they have specials once in a while special releases that are worth checking out tongue is still burning all right, guys. Starfish of fire. And I'm out.